I called Adriana in Paris again, and? And she swears that she had a call Madame Laurent send the yearbook from Paris two days ago. Well, that could take some time from Paris. Yes, but I've overnighted things before, and they always arrive the very next day. You know what? Maybe it's fate. Tell us to stop looking up dirt on Aubrey. Nonsense, darling. I'm sure that this yearbook is going to prove that Aubrey is not who she says she is. And the thing is, where can that yearbook be? I wonder what happened to it. Are you sure this is going to look real? When I'm finished with this, Kelly will never know you're not really Aubrey Wentworth. Trust me. Oh, believe me. I do. Even if this yearbook shows up, it's not going to guarantee that it will reveal anything nefarious about Aubrey. Honey, do you think that Aubrey and her so-called brother are up to no good? Yes. Well, then prove it. You have to. And I'm going to make sure that you do. May I ask, when did my relationship with Joy become all about you? When I realized that you were never going to be happy until you and Joe were reunited. I'm not so sure that would make him happy. Of course it will. I know. You and Joe. That's one for the ages. And the reason it never worked out is because... Timing! That's all. You're not going to tell me you think Joe and this Aubrey person were meant for each other. Of course not. She's lying to him. And I know it. Exactly. You and I are so close to uncovering something really dark and sinister about this Aubrey. This is not the time to be giving up. You know what? It is all well and good that my instincts are telling me that Aubrey isn't worthy of Joey, but if I can't prove it, what does it matter? She really was pretty mousy, wasn't she? Just a few minutes with me and she's getting a makeover. <laughs> we are about to get everything we want. What do you think? You are a magician, it's perfect. There, as far as everyone else is concerned, you are the real Aubrey Wentworth, and we are still on track for the biggest score we've ever seen. And I have to owe it to my old friend Rama for spilling all about Clint's DNA test shenanigans. We're gonna have all our money. And Joey thinks I'm a saint for getting Clint to change his mind about disinheriting him. Poor Joey. What a little sap. I asked you not to talk trash about Joey. Do I need to remind you again that you going soft on Joey is not part of the deal? I know. Doesn't seem like it. Cutter, I am working my butt off here to make this happen for us. Please, just don't call Joey a sap. He is a smart guy who just wasn't expecting this, to be fooled by someone so skillful. Well, you got that right. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing some of those skills right now. Later. Is that glue dry yet? Because you still have to go over to Dorian's house and replace that yearbook. It's almost ready. Thank God. I just can't wait to have you all to myself again. And that beginning money. You think maybe Aubrey's a con artist? Oh, absolutely. And worse, meeting her so-called brother yesterday absolutely convinced me he's not interested in working for one of my charities. Honey, I want you to be very careful, okay, when you're on these uh, fishing expeditions with him. That's all right, all right. Nothing's happened so far. Just one dinner and a thwarted breakfast date, even if it was in Cutter's room. In his room? Well, what thwarted it? Joey, he walked in on us and... He got upset because he thought I was cheating on Kevin. Oh, yes, I'd forgotten about that. I guess Joey didn't. But uh, out of desperation, I had to tell him that Kevin and I broke up. You know, I saw Joe yesterday at the palace. He, he rushed past me looking as if he'd lost his best friend. What did he say? 
Well, he was just too upset to... <laughs> Kelly! What? Honey, do you think Joe was jealous? I'm gonna go make another date with Kelly. Why? We're all set on plan A. We don't need to go after Kelly's money. We already have Joey's. Not uh, yet, we don't. Besides, I need an excuse to sneak this over, right? Keep your hands off Kelly, okay? You gonna keep your hands off Joey? Right. I self believe that Joey is jealous. That would mean I still have a chance with him. The power of positive thinking. Try it. It's hard to be positive about Joey planning a wedding to someone else or that he stood up to his father for her. And after that big stunt that Aubrey pulled at the church, he's even more gaga over her. Because she got Clint to back down. I, I, I think she's, I don't know, I think she has something on him. So you mentioned. Okay, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Every time I mention Clint, you're shutting down. What do you know? Yes, I do believe that Aubrey has something on Clint. And believe me, there is plenty to get. I think she knows what I do. Why, what do you know? Come on. All right, I'm going to tell you exactly what I told Rex. Clint is actually Rex's father, not Charlie. What? What? What do you mean? There was a DNA test. Oh, I wouldn't put anything past Clint. You're gonna have a much nicer life. Now that you're me. Why would you tell Rex that? Let's not talk about Rex anymore. All right, let's talk about you, shall we? I don't want to talk about me. Okay, then. I have a suggestion. There is one way that you can resolve all of this confusion about you and Aubrey and Joe and Cutter. What's that? Just tell Joe how you feel about him. Once Joe's sisters are married, Aubrey is going to be pushing him to the altar. You said it yourself, darling. You haven't got much time. It could be too late already. No! Just... Tell him how you feel. You know, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Oh, 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 God. yes, you should. You need to talk about this. You need to take no. action. End of discussion. That's it. End of I mean it. You win. Fine. Go, go ahead. I, I, I'm going to check on that package and find out where the heck it is. I'll get it. I'm coming. Cutter, I wasn't expecting you. Come in. I was in the neighborhood. I found this on your doorstep. My aunt was waiting for this. Dorian, guess what I found? Oh, good, our package, yes! I noticed it's from Nicole Madame Laurent. You know, my, my sister went to that school. Oh, really? Ha, 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 what a surprise. What, uh, may I ask, are they sending you? Uh, just some information that I requested, Kelly. Uh, we, excuse us. We were in the middle of something. Just it'll get just, a minute. It'll what? just take a Close the doors. Close the door. How the hell I hate these out there. Okay, here we go. Well, what the heck is her last name? Wet one. 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 Here, 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 the girl. Yep. What? Oh. It's her. She's not an imposter, Aubrey Wentworth. That's her. She actually did go to a call, Madame Laurent. Okay. All right. That doesn't mean she isn't up to something. Honey, this is just the beginning. No, it's the end. I give up. I'm done with Joey. What the hell was Rex talking about? Open my eyes. So you 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 think he's still out there? The one, the, the perfect person for you. I do. I believe that with all my heart. I mean, I'm in love. That's that's great. Who is the uh, who's the lucky guy? Uh, actually, he's an ex of mine. 
someone I've known for a long time. A lot's happened between us, but we always end up back together. I, 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 I can't believe it. After all this time, for you to be waiting. What? Oh, Kelly, no, no. No. You didn't come down here thinking that I was going to propose to you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, is it possible? Am I really? I am that blind. Oh, my God. You can't give up on Joe. Watch me. Kelly! You love him. I do. But he is in love with someone else, and there's nothing I can do to change that. I have to accept it. I know when I've been beaten. Where are you going? To deal with Cutter. Mayor Dorian Lord. Dorian, it's Rex. Have you given some thought to what we talked about? Uh, I did more than that. I had a test done, and I just got the results. And? Clint Buchanan is not my father. Going somewhere? Well, it started getting kind of lonely out here, so I was going to send you a text. <laughs> I'm sorry it took so long. Don't be. That's what I get for not calling ahead. I just had to talk to my aunt about something. I get it. But I do have to ask, is everything okay? Actually, in a way, yeah, it is. Good. Guess I'll see you. Wait a minute, what about our date? You mean you want another one? Yeah. If, if you want one. I'd love one. When are you free? Actually, I'm totally free right now. <laughs>